No one is above the law. And I took a poll and I said, how many people think that Trump is going to be indicted? And half of them thought he would not. They felt that he would get away with it just like he always does. What is your feeling about that? You know, I, I don't know, Joy, and I don't want to prejudge. I've been prejudged wrongly enough. Mm. I'm not going to prejudge somebody <laughs> okay. else. Yeah, and yeah. so I think the key is what the facts and the evidence are, mm -hmm. uh, what the FBI and the intelligence community mm. learn about these documents, how they ended up there, who else saw them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because apparently they've been moved around. It's not like they were in a vault. They were in a storage room where people go in and out getting umbrellas for the pool or, you know, something else. So I think that we have to we have to wait and we have to we have to have, I think, two minds about this. No one is above the law yep. and the rule of law in a democracy. Um, you know, has to be our standard. But we should not rush to judgment. Right. We should take it seriously. We should be concerned about it. And we should follow the facts and the evidence. Right. We want to make sure that everyone is treated equally. Uh, I believe that she has gotten preferential treatment uh, throughout many, much of her career in that she believes she's above the law. She holds herself above the law, and I think everybody should be held accountable. There are new allegations that she didn't just delete tens of thousands of those emails from her personal account, she wiped the server clean. Chair of the committee investigating Benghazi now says Secretary Clinton unilaterally decided to wipe her server clean and permanently delete all emails from her personal server. There has never been anything like this where emails and you get a subpoena, you get a subpoena, and after getting the subpoena, you delete 33 thousand emails so we're going to get a special prosecutor and we're going to look into it because you know what people have been their lives have been destroyed for doing one fifth of what you've done and it's a disgrace and honestly you ought to be ashamed of Secretary, yourself everything he just said is absolutely false but i'm not oh, surprised really? you know it is uh it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of donald trump is not in charge of the law in our country because you'd be in jail Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws governing the handling of classified information, there is evidence that they were extremely careless. In looking back at our investigations into the mishandling or removal of classified information, we cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts.